I'm going to explain about quadrilaterals. In a quadrilateral, it is a part of round. It is a first one round. Parallelogram. In a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal. Opposite angles are equal. Some of two adjacent angles are known as supplementary. And the sum of the diagonals bisect each other and they divide the parallelogram into two congruent triangles. You can observe here, first one is here and second one is here. In parallelogram, the angles, the angles in, par in parallelogram, the angles are known as right angle and the other sign, if one angle is known as right angle, then the other angles are also known as right angle and it becomes as a rectangle. Rectangle is a special type of parallelogram whose angles are right. In a rectangle, each angle is equal to 90 degrees. Here you can observe sir, 0 to 90 degrees and here you can observe by other way also. Here is 230 and here is 320. 320 minus 230 is equal to 90 degrees. Here you can observe in another way also, sir. Here 110 if you are taking, here 200. 110 minus 200 is equal to 90 degrees. Here 180 degrees we have taken. Here 270 it is, sir. 270 minus 180 is equal to 90 degrees. Now she is going to explain about rhombus. It is a rhombus. In rhombus, all sides are congruent means it is a equal just like AB is equal to BC, BC is equal to CD, CD is equal to DA and opposite angles are congruent just like angle A is equal to angle C, angle B is equal to angle D and two adjacent angles are supplementary just like angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees and diagonals are perpendicular to each other but diagonals are not equal. If one of the angles is 90 degrees in rhombus and then all the other angles also becomes 90 degrees Thank you for listening patiently for presentation. I think so you enjoyed this. I listened to our words.